Do you like good steak but not good steak prices? We have a uh, London broil right here. You know, people sit there with a $30 piece of steak and do these tenderizing tests. That steak is already freaking tender. This, however, this little meat muscle right here needs some loving though. Why is that like that? All right, so we got our three chunks of meat here. And so we don't really need to have a control meat here because honestly, we already know London broil is tough as this is basically to see uh, what's better than that. So what we're gonna do is salt, jacar, and then salt and jacar to see if maybe both techniques make it even tenderer. Tenderer, -er 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 -er. Be careful you don't stab yourself. Oh. We gave each side one pass. We'll go one more time. All right, so two passes, that's it. So we're gonna do this one also. Oh yeah, it's a thicker cut. You don't wanna damage the blades either because when these pop out, the blades pop out like that. So when you push down, you wanna make sure you're pushing straight down. So that is our two pieces here. That's impressive. I can already feel a little bit of difference. Now again, this is London broil, right? So this isn't going to turn a London broil into a filet mignon. So in order to use salt to tenderize, you have to put it on and then let it sit. So that's what we're going to do here. We're giving this one the amount of salt that we would normally give this steak. And same with this guy, because this guy is our jacar and our salt. There we go. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna let these sit for an hour. Okay, folks, it's been about an hour here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to season our just jacarded steak before we put it on the grill. And we are going to pepper and garlic all of them. All right, well, actually, before we do this, let's get a little feel here. So this is just the salt. I don't feel much of a difference. Jacarded, I mean, definitely feels a little softer. And <clears throat> over here we have our salt and jacquard. This definitely already feels the most tender. It is the thinnest slice out of these three, so. And I will say, this one does look the least mashed. And you can tell it's already starting to look a little darker red in color. As is this guy, the salt is definitely penetrating that meat. You might think like that's a lot of garlic, but I think you're wrong. All right, all we gotta do is throw these bad boys on the grill. Putting these on the grill here, adding some smoke chips because hell yeah, brah. Ooh, that's a fire. Putting the lid on for a minute here to squelch thy flames. Yes, those are steak fries in the back. Can't just have steak right. Giving these a flip. That steak was stuck on there like a bulldog to a jar of peanut butter. Like a millennial in the basement. Like chewing gum to a mullet. Make sure when you're getting some glam shots for the internet, you put the camera down correctly. I didn't. I'm flipping these meat nuggets about every two minutes, about two times each side. Thankfully, I did more glam shots to inadvertently correct the camera angle. Bring them off to the side to temp while torturing the little one. Why do I do that? Yeah, he suffered enough. Finish them off with the lid if you need, temping these to about 130 degrees. Mm -mm, look at these. Just kept them indirect, both vents all the way open, about 30 minutes. Okay, back to the meat. Make sure to place them back in the same order the viewers originally saw them. Slicing them up here. They are looking good. Trying just the salted piece here. It tasted great. You can taste the salt all the way through the steak. Definitely a little more tender than doing nothing. Now for the jacquard. That was way more tender. And it tastes how I expect a decent steak to taste. I was really surprised. For the salt and the jacquard, you can really tell by cutting it with a fork that it's the most tender. It tasted okay. 
I did overcook it some, but its texture was almost mushy. Even though I thought it was the most tender, I didn't like the steak as much. Between the three, I preferred just the discarded one. If you don't have one of those, you can try to poke it with a fork a bunch of times or just go with the salt method, but let it sit for a few more hours.